Hey everybody, this is Perch, and it's been reported a few places, and at first I wanted to pause to actually get more of the photos and more of the information in because there's been a lot of misinformation about this topic and a lot of people who have uh, immediately jumped to uh, some conclusions on it and uh, and I think I have used it to kind of smear uh, people. And that is... Uh, Penguin Random House appears to be having problems shipping comics. So um, in in a move that, you know, I, I'm waiting for Diamond to actually make a statement about how uh, they they would never make such mistakes, which will be just just hilarious on, on all the levels. But uh, basically, we've now seen I have seen firsthand a number of uh, pictures of boxes. I have a good friend who got a shop uh, and the box appeared to be, um, well, kind of like UPS does, like they they play some kind of sick kind of bowling game with the boxes where things are just look like they're they're weirdly smashed and rounded and kind of all over the place and it is uh it's a mess so we you know inside the box now you might say by the way um when boxes come to you damaged it's not necessarily a problem the 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 trick becomes you open up the box and you see what's gone on inside and in this case what we see has gone on inside is uh is almost zero protection that the comics are just kind of put in the box the box is taped up and off it goes and uh it is uh, it, 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 the comics are being destroyed i guess i will put um there is a a lot of uh of returns uh when my friend called uh to note that there was a major problem uh with the comics that they were damaged he was estimating about 25 percent of the books basically the comics themselves were providing the padding to protect the other comics which is not the way you do it uh, but at any rate uh, when he called he was told that uh, they were experiencing high call volumes of issues from around the country from problems and and now we're seeing a lot of different uh uh, situations that uh, the books are are damaged. They're put in missized boxes, either too small or too big. So a different retailer got uh, information that the box, the the comics were basically crammed into a box, even though they, it wasn't quite the right size for the box, and so the uh, the the top was actually bent up. Uh, another retailer has posted some photos of a box that was again so destroyed in terms of being what looked picked up and dropped and kind of rolled around the floor it looked like that the corner had torn open and then water had gotten into the comics rendering the entire box for all intents and purposes unusable uh so no this is uh it's a it's a major problem now i i called up as i do my friend at uh, barnes and noble and asked uh, you know hey you've been getting penguin random house boxes for a while how do they arrive are they usually packed and protected and i got the answer of uh usually there's some protection but also with books, uh, when you're talking about kind of books for the shelves, uh, they typically, you know, they can withstand more damage. Comics tend to fold quicker and easier. And we run into that problem with, you know, some of the graphic novels, manga tends to operate more like books. It just tends to, to hold up a little bit better to some torture. Um, but also people care less uh, when it's a book or when it's a graphic novel, unless it's like a special edition hardcover and those are usually plastic wrapped and there's some other things going on. Um, you know, if it's a little bit more damaged, people tend to care a little bit less. A lot of the magazines on the shelf, you know, no one's getting too bent out of shape if, uh, you know, this copy of Cosmo has like a a bent co uh, you know, cover slightly. No one, you know, the staple has a little crease. But with comics, you obviously do. So this seems to be a consistent story. Uh, again, they're saying a number of problems. You know, the usual uh, boxes being absolutely beat the hell out of, which is problem number one. Two, uh, the boxes are the wrong size. So when they're too small, the comics are crammed in and bent. When they're too big, the comics are loose in there. And so then any kind of movement around causes them to just slam into the sides of the box. No padding, no protection, uh, like we've seen from Lunar and in some cases, Diamond. Um, and, uh, you know, the in, in many cases, no corner taping, no kind of protection. So very, very prone to getting destroyed. Um, you know, my the retailer who lives uh, here with me noted that the cardboard felt cheaper and he didn't have anything to really kind of say on that uh, quanti quantitatively, but uh, just that it felt like the box itself could withstand a lot less damage. And especially going into the holiday and going into inclement weather, the belief is this is going to be a massive, massive problem.
So um, there you go. Uh, just very beat up, very bad uh, boxes. And uh, it's kind of, you know, in one week, and this is the, the part that's concerning, um, they are kind of showing off all of the worst things that people that drive people crazy about diamond. And so that's that's a that's a big problem. So anyway, what what happened? The, the other the ominous thing here is that when uh, when attempted to contact Penguin Random House, they got a uh, we're very busy right now. We'll, we'll get back to you, which I gather other people are having more success uh, getting to them. But um, anyway, this is uh, this is this is a problem. So it's uh, anyway, it, it's a shame. Some people, by the way, have posted that. Uh, you know, the the packing box uh, came with a little note. I guess not all people have gotten this or, or some have that show, uh, you know, people kind of packing up the boxes and looking happy doing it. I, I guess that's nice. But when the books are all destroyed, that just puts a human face on uh, the thing that's causing you a lot of pain right now. But that's not the only thing causing people pain. Uh, there's a paper shortage. Um, and the paper shortage is kind of being a little misrepresent, misrepresented, misrepresented, um, miscategorized. Um, many of the comic delays that have been thrown out, I do not believe, are related to uh, the paper shortage. I think it's, uh, it's you know, there's, there's worker shortages, there's supply chain issues. I think a lot of stuff's getting kind of pointed to and blamed. And I also think the comic industry is trying to recalibrate and figure out what's going on. Obviously, DC has a bunch of changes going on with uh, with everything that's happening with Discovery and Warner Media, and, 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 and more importantly than that, dramatic shortage of editors, which is extremely severe at the moment. Um, but uh, the the paper shortage is a thing. Um, it's already causing some toilet paper hoarding that's going on. And when I say toilet paper, I mean actual toilet paper. I'm not talking about you know, the books you don't like from Marvel and DC. Um, but there are issues. And the issues are kind of manifesting their ways in delays. One, one thing that's kind of uh, unique or unusual about this is it's not like when paper shows up or, or a product shows up at a store and whoever happens to be at the store gets the product. In this case, because paper is going to the printers, what it's doing is just slowing down everything. Everything is staying in line in order. It's just uh, it's just taking longer to get through. So uh, this is a you know th this is really impacting. I would say boutique more than again more than comics. It's not it's it, it's not. Um, it's not leaving comics alone. I think the people are going to get hit the most are people who are doing, say, crowdfunding and individual efforts. The big corporations that push through a lot of comics may experience some small delays, but ultimately they have a, a you know a constant pipeline of product and material going through. And what's going to get hit is the one-offs, the boutiques, the people who are you know, doing that kind of thing. I absolutely expect some of the crowdfunding projects to run into this, particularly if you're doing a print run of under a thousand books. Uh, if you're doing under 500, I think you're going to be in even greater danger. Uh, so, you know, if you are running a crowdfunding campaign, if you know you are funded, you might want to get that book off to the printer like today, because you are going to, you are going to be late is kind of the, the outcome here. The paper shortage, because of the backup and everything that's going on, uh, it's going to last at least six to 12 months. This is going to go into next summer before everything is cleared out. Even if they ramp up supply, you've now got a backlog that's got to go through and they are once again going to prioritize the larger accounts rather than the smaller accounts. That's just kind of business and, and basic nature. We're seeing all over supply chain things uh, struggle. We're seeing uh, delays in shipping. We're seeing kind of various postal problems. I mean, there's, there's a lot of problems that we're going to be encountering. And I think, you know, once again, if you're running a crowdfunded campaign, you know, you need to, to look out for your prices. The other thing is happening. Costs are going up to ship things, to pack things, everything. So that, that dollar amount you put on your campaign, uh, hopefully that's still valid. If you're about to launch, it's worth going to your, you know, your postal service and checking to see if your rates are still valid. If you're worrying about packing material like boxes, you might want to go and make sure that those are still available or at least get yourself in line because this is something that's going to drag out and, and cause an issue.
Um, and it definitely doesn't help when, you know, one of the big distributors for comics is shipping stuff out, it's getting damaged and it has to be, you know, replaced or returned or shipped stuff shipped out again. So all, all of this is a giant effing mess is basically what I'm saying. But that's the, the word on the street from what's going on with Penguin Random House, which is very disappointing, particularly given their large operation. This is absolutely not the way to begin. And it's, uh, it's really a nightmare scenario of, uh, uh, you would not expect this. And then, of course, paper uh, continuing to be a problem. But let me know your thoughts. If you have a campaign coming up that you're dependent on, let me know. Otherwise, uh, thanks for listening.